Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to our second of our four live stream games this afternoon. This afternoon, in our A2 men, we have on our left, going left to right, Newtown in the blue, up against Past High, heading from right to left. So this will be a good game. It was a very tight game in the semi-final. We have Past High who's won the toss and are uh, hitting off. So. A forward ball there from Greggy Dean, picks up Jackson Smitty. Smitty works hard in the front pocket. Wins a short, uh, long corner. Dean Stanfield. Pops the ball through to Skip Hawthorne. Good tackle. Jared Gleeson, Gleeso. Gleeso gets the ball away to Princess. Nathan Polish. Polich, back stick over the top of the ball, back of the stick. Polich is, as we know, the Newtown A-grade men, uh, goalkeeper most weeks. But today he's the left wing for the A2 men. Matty Wallace turns the ball back inside. Hollis, Hollis gets the ball out. Wins a free hit. Dan Burke and Doody, the umpires, Jack Moore. As Hollis comes back to Jago, across to Clark. Father-son combo tonight, I think. Nick and Grant Clark playing. Kieran Wilkie, who was very good last week, just throws the ball over the sideline. Dylan Reedy to his younger brother, Will Reedy. Cops a strong check from Zach Sinton. Overhead, into the D. Picked up by Gleeso. Wilkie. Good skills, eliminates Greggy Dean. Dean keeps coming. Markey, Markey wins a free hit. Ash Ziviani, pops the ball over, picks up Sinton. Sinton mistraps. Sam Bullen on the ball, turns. Strong attempt to tackle there from Sinton. Bullen good enough, gets the ball wide. Picks up Henry Cronk. Again, you won't go through Jared Gleason tonight. Gleason beats a couple. Gets a ball into the D, picks up Markey. Markey turns, has a shot. Garski, back stick shot, that's a goal. One and nil the early. Newtown is Brent Garski. Scotty Garski early. Sorry, and we've got a green card early from umpire Jack Moore. Gets Sinton on the bench. So Sinton from Newtown, two minutes. Greggy Dean travelling forward now after a quick hit off. Oh, just lets the ball run out there, was worrying about where his next pass was going. Grant Clark on the ball. Clark slows things down. Drives the ball down the line. He's taking a touch there from past high, so long corner. So it turns out to be a good ball from the veteran Grant Clark, the inspector. Wilkie on the ball, Kieran Wilkie, Lego. It's a ball to Gleeso, Gleeso. Backstick trap by Skip Hawthorne. It's the ball out to Riley Williams. Riley Williams who's been very strong in the back end of this competition. Reedy now. Reedy draws, Markey, Markey's good enough, gets a touch on it, slows the play, Reedy again, options here, back to Matt Pearson, the captain, Pearson has Lockie, oh, Henry Cronk on his right, Henry Cronk just lets it get away from him, out of bounds, Newtown again just slowing things down, Hollis to Clark. Clark, that beautiful upright hit straight across to Jago. Nice upright trap. Jago picks up Ziviani. Ziviani, checked by Dean. Ziviani gets the ball back. Yeah. 
sitting back onto the field now. Two minutes is up. So both teams with 11 players on the field. Garski gets a straight ball. Field two. We have a result of Red Lions. Congratulations, Red Lions. Three defeating Park High in the A3 men. Ball into Pearson. Pearson to Staten. Boys get the ball through. Skip Hawthorne. Pops the ball on the inside. Picks up the foot of Hollis. Good speed out of defence from past eye. Some nice passing. Turns their defence into attack. Greggy Dean. Long corner. Has Matty Wallace presenting. Matty Wallace. Wins a free hit. Just picks up the back of sitting stick. Hawthorne to Wallace. Good from Sinton, makes the tackle, had to be made. Bird Cronk now. Back to Bullen. Passed high with several of these players who've featured already today in the J Boys final. This one in, man in particular. Good one too there, just couldn't quite get the ball back, Will Reedy. Polich now. Over the halfway, or good tackle, Pearson. Pearson with skills, goes forward, bobbly ball. Gleason, good enough. Gleason again, strong, strong run, Gleason. Very experienced campaigner, Jared Gleason. Bullen, Bullen wants to see it out, but Nick Markey wanted to get the ball. Bullen, early ball off the baseline. Pollich reaches out. Does enough to trick Kronk. Bounces over the sideline. So already the score, 1-0 to Newtown. Little back stick up right shot from Scotty Garski after a deflection. Hollis, Garski back to Hollis. Pulls the ball right back out into that Newtown structure that they've been so good at for such a long time. Clark, Jago. Jago has Riley Williams. Pass to splitting the defenders. Have to pick a side here. Go forward on the right. Ziviani. Finds the foot of Cronk. That's Will Cronk, younger brother to Henry and cousin to Lockie. Lockie Cronk, number four, just running onto the field now. Garski again into the D. Backstick shot. Wide. Very dangerous up front, Scott Garski. Sam Bullen now. 16 for past high. 1 0 the score. Bullen ops overhead. Ziviani. Mouse trap. Picks up Clark at the back. Umpire said it went out. Hawthorne on the ball. Hawthorne just couldn't connect with Reedy. Inspector Clark coming back. 16. Gets it across to Jago. Jago spreads it to Hollis. Hollis down the line. Pearson. Oh no. That's Cronk. Missed traps. Pollage pushing his way through. Bullen stretching out, work to do. Sinton with speed, has a crack. Over the baseline, misses. So we've got a, a, a keeper change happening here now for, for past eye. So Donny Costigan was just featuring in the A3 men's team up on the field, <coughs> field two in that final. So he's had to race down and get kitted up. So Nick Mann has filled in. So as we see that Ball come away now from Pearson to Dean Staten. Dino throws it through, picks up the foot of Ziviani. Wallace was away, called back. Dino has options. Ops to go. Not wide enough, finds Gleason. So Bullen, Cronk. And Dean Staten in the tackles. Past eyes ball from the sideline. Reedy on the ball. Ball comes all the way back to Bullen. Bullen. Oh, miscommunication there.
Grant Clark, slow to come back, giving everyone a breather. Very hot conditions here today in Toowoomba. Matt Wallace dispossesses, just obstructs though. Clark opens it up, Jago. Wallace intercepts. Lockie Cronk, Matty Wallace again. Very fast hands on Wallace, in and away. Dean comes through the top of the D. Sinton dispossesses in a shave tackle. Sinton now with room in front, tries for an overhead. Picked out of the sky by Will Cronk. Not sure about that decision. Sitton gets the ball. Being told to push off the ball. Again, another overhead, not quite the way they wanted. As we get the ball back. So Ross van der Werf from the front there, in the press, Bullen slots the ball through to Reedy, Reedy eliminates Markey, turns, good mousetrap there, McEwen on the ball now, throws a straight ball, Lockie Cronk gets the ball across, good keeping Luigi, Lockie Ziviani in the net, Reedy beats one, has a shot, gets the ball across, Picks up Williams, Williams turns. Jago cleans up, gets the ball out of danger. Henry Cronk, front quarter, back to Pearson. Pearson drops it out to Bullen. Bullen, turnover straight to Markey. Markey with speed. Bullen will have to go, go with him here. Beach two. Great keeping, Donny Costigan just new to the field. Missed out on the warm up, Donny Costigan. Straight into the game. Williams with speed, hassling Gleason. Gleason strong. Great run from Jared Gleason, 50 plus metres there. Wilkie gets the ball inside the 25, can't hit the ball straight into the D, drags it back out. Goes around, Bullen comes out to present. Picked by Reedy, hit his foot though. Wilkie again. Outside the D, outside the 25. Ops to go straight. Pass side diffuser situation through Greggy Dean. Overlapping Williams. Jago very physical in that battle. Sixteen for Newtown. Lots of substitutions here. Nice and warm this afternoon. Three three quarter to go in the first quarter. Good intercept by Cronk. Keneally runs away. Jago. Jago transfers. Back to the inspector. Inspector turns the ball over to Greggy Dean. Greggy Dean moving forward in a dangerous position. Beats Garski. Gets the ball in. Picked up by Hollis. Hollis to Keneally. Keneally down the sideline. Picks up Markey. Strong tackle Pearson. Again, good work by Will Cronk. The bird. Strong from Markey. Cronk puts it on the... Greggy Dean's back stick. Greggy Dean with work to do in the D. Oh, gets collected there in a body check from a jumping Jago. <laughs> Gives away the short corner, Jago. So that's right. Two and two and a half or two and three quarters to quarter time. 
We get a look at Pastor's first short corner. Greg Dean to inject. Skip Hawthorne on the battery. Left. Henry Crump right. Goes left. Riley Williams gets a flick away. Luigi good enough. Hollis defuses. Reedy finds Dean. Dino under pressure from Wilkie. Wilkie strong tackle again. Gives away a stick check just right on the T spot. Dean Staten comes out. It's a ball across. High ball up off the stick of Wilkie into the inspector. Great ball, Henry Cronk picks up Dino into the D. Gleason good enough. Deason wants to get it. Gleason wants to get a quick ball away, does so. Picks up Dylan Gascoigne. Gascoigne running with the ball in his left hand. Get the foot of Cronk. Gascoigne straight away. Coaching staff wanted a short corner, but the umpire wanted the ball on the spot. Ball's back to Wilkie. Inside the minute, first quarter. Ding beats a couple in Wilkie and Gleason. Gleason, great back tackle. 45 seconds. Greggy Dean, little jink, runs the back line. Strong tackle Hollis, 30 seconds in the first. Long corner it is, back to Reedy. Reedy picks up Skip Hawthorne. Skip Hawthorne gets, cops a slide tackle from Jared Gleason outside the D and with 10 seconds to go on the clock. Umpire Dan Burke blows a short corner. So opportunity now, opportunity for past high. Everyone's coming up. And that's the hooter for the first quarter, but we'll play the short corner out. Greggy Dean to inject. Hawthorne and Cronk on the traps. Williams, Staten on the, on the flicks. Looking for someone to back up. Missed trap. Ball goes left. Bird Cronk has a shot. Luigi picks it up. Ball goes out, that's the first quarter done. Good defence, Newtown. Back shortly. So welcome back here to the second quarter. So the score now, or score is 1-0 to Newtown. Pass tie get us underway through Greggy Dean. Overhead over the top. From Will Reedy, great ball. Not defused by the Newtown defence. Greggy Dean wins a free hit. 
So both teams just getting some instructions from their coaching staff. Skip Hawthorne runs into the D, ball over the baseline from Hollis. One corner past high. Through Reedy. Reedy gets the ball across. Just a missed, missed opportunity there from Matty Wallace under his stick. Pastor really needing to take these opportunities. They've had majority of the play. Been a nice tight game in the first quarter so far. Both teams equal to the challenge. Grant Clark, it's a nice straight ball through. Just a mistrap there from, from Garski. Doesn't happen very often. Garski the goal scorer, upright back stick goal from Garski in the first quarter, very early in the first quarter. But they've sort of been on the back foot since. Reedy to Bullen, Bullen to Cronk. Cronk gets the ball through. Picked up by Ziviani, Ash Ziviani that is. Younger brother Lockie in the net. Pastoy passing well in the front right pocket, but again another situation diffused and an on the run overhead out from Sinton. Bullen makes a bit of a mess of that. Polich wins the hit or wins the ball. Polich just holding it up. It's a ball across, it goes straight into the D, so Pastoy's hit. Because it's inside the front 25, the ball has to travel five or or get touched before it goes into the D. Controlled, that is. Bullen, overhead out. Gleason sees it over the sideline. Reedy presenting. Drags it back, gets a shot away, or pass away. Deflection from Newtown, over the baseline. Reedy now for a long corner. Ops to go right, gets the ball in. Skip Hawthorne, nice little turn there. Again diffused by Newtown. Markey runs out, puts the ball out. To Reedy, sees it over the sideline. Inspector on the ball. Has options. Greggy Dean just coming back out to close a few things off. Ops to go forward. Under Lockie Cronk's stick. Markey beats a couple. Picks up the front of Sinton though. Reedy to his brother. Will Reedy now. Overlapping Henry Cronk. Travelling forward. Cronk with speed. Gets the ball into the front pocket, picks up Wallace, who just lets it get away from him. So 16, good ball movement from past eye. Hollis brings the ball back. Heavy press here from past eye. Greggy Dean demanding that the players step up. And the press does well, turns the ball over. Greggy Dean has a shot, just chips the ball to the right there. But promising signs from past eye. Directed by Greggy Dean. Inspector. He's inspected the ball and deemed it's not appropriate, so he throws it off. <coughs> Another one comes on. That's why he's the inspector. He's inspected another ball, another defect report. Here comes a third ball. And we're away. Gets through, Garski. Garski in traffic, brings it back to Hollis, gets it back. Pierce and the captain poking left and right. Turns the ball over. Garski 
Rolls off. Leaves the free hit for Hollis. Wallace picks up the, the ball, but over the sideline. Back to Hollis. Hollis pops the ball through. Picks up a check from Pearson. Bullen. Bullen to Reedy. Reedy back on the inside to a flying Sinton. Picks up his foot. Chips it forwards. Pulled back. Reedy has Cronk overlapping. Throws a perfectly weighted ball to Gleason as a turnover. Gleason with speed. Gets a great little backstick pass to Princess. Princess gets the ball across. Picked up by Jack McEwen. McEwen's been good today. Star of the J-Boys side. Greggy Dean goes under his stick. And as we have a score up on the top field, so we've got the A3 ladies game up on the top field. Looks like the Red Lions girls have gone in, so that's a 1 0 score over North. Field two, Red Lions have just scored. 1 0 to Red Lions. As we welcome the busiest man here today, <laughs> the birthday boy, Mr. Matt Cook. Thanks, Steve. It's, uh, it's good to be here. Have a, have a swig of your water, mate. And Settle in for a bit. You've been doing a fantastic job today, mate. So fill us in, mate. I've just missed out on this. So how's the game gone so far? Yeah. So Newtown have been um, well. It's been a good arm wrestle. Newtown's got an early goal. They scored an early goal through um, Scotty Scotty Garski, but it's been a bit of an arm wrestle since, and there's been probably more opportunities from past eye than than uh, Newtown. So. As we see Jack McEwen now travelling forwards in and away on Hollis. Turns the ball back in, wins a free hit. McEwen takes it quickly again. McEwen turns inside. Great defence though from Lego from Newtown. So we've had a goalkeeper change and everything. So we started the game with, with one of the junior keepers because Donnie Costigan was up on field two and had to come down and, and pad up. So... And he came onto the field and made a save straight away, which would have done his confidence the world a good. As plenty just... of drama and plenty happening today. Yeah, it's been a great day so far. Still looking forward to the A-grade games coming up after this on the live stream. And if you're tuning in from home in Toowoomba, get off your screen and come out to Toowoomba Hockey and check it out. There's a fantastic crowd, beautiful weather. There's no excuses not to be here tonight. Wallace, Wallace. Has a dig, air swing. So another little opportunity there for past high, well diffused by Newtown. Here comes the inspector out. Throws the ball square to Ziviani, just a bounce, bubbly ball. So mistrap Ziviani, tough one. Great composure on the ball from Sammy Bullen. Finds Will Reedy down the left-hand side. Picks up Stanfield. Stanfield gets the ball across. Luigi steps over it. Clark on the ball here for Newtown. Another experienced customer. So how's your day been going, mate? Talk us through it. What's, what's been the highlight today? Oh, it's been a fantastic, breakfast in bed this morning. fantastic day. Didn't quite get breakfast in bed. <laughs> Up nice and early and out here for the under 11s. Started off, you know, fantastic game. We had um, Newtown under 11 girls winning winning that one and some fantastic hockey being played. But on field two, we had a joint premiership in the under 11 boys. Fantastic game, played in good spirits and Excellent. great sportsmanship. Both teams shared a drink together. Excellent. A soft drink after, <laughs> the, uh, after the game on the deck. And that, that's what sport's all about. Yeah, absolutely. As we see a turnover here from Wallace. Past high streaming forward. So probably to be honest, that's that's probably been my highlight so far. The, the under 11s, two all game between past high and red lines, and uh, great to see the teams coming together after the game and enjoying themselves. Yeah, excellent. And uh, and also a couple of really tight games and some shootouts today. Yeah, most definitely. We've uh, we've had a couple of shootouts so far. The, uh, the A4 <coughs> women was a bit of an epic, and uh, Elisa Pantaram was awarded player of the final for her <laughs> heroic efforts in the A4 women's shootout. So I take it she scored? 
She was the goalkeeper. Oh, she was the yeah. goalkeeper. Oh. <laughs> she saved a lot, I think. <laughs> well, that's good. And uh, and in the J2 boys, we had another epic shootout. Past high v past high. The Hawks coming up uh, on top in that one. Very good. Yeah, the J1 boys was a cracking game as well. Three goals to two. Past high coming up on... Uh, Ahead of Rangeville in that one. Yep. Some great so, skills on display. Quite a lot of quality in those two teams. Yeah, there's some exciting times for the future of Toowoomba Hockey, that's for sure. And as we come back to this game and the, the, the sun's sort of slowly setting to cool down the the, uh, the temperature, it's been quite a warm, lovely day here today. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how the J1 boys backing up this afternoon can compete. It was bloody hot in the middle of yeah, the day, 29 yep. degrees on the turf. And it was a very, you know, fast-paced, solid game. So. so There's a number of boys backing up, you know, this afternoon. So late in the game, it'll be interesting. They've got the legs, but they've probably, you know, had a lot taken out of them throughout the day. So will they be able to find that extra bit of juice in the tank? We'll see. So we've got... Bullen, McEwen, Cronk, Hawthorne, Reedy, all backing up. Nick Mann in the net if, he, Nick if he's Mann, required. Yeah, yep. Yep. So he started the game in the net, Nick Mann. And hot tip is if, if it goes to a shootout, um, he, he was a form, form goalkeeper in yeah, the J2, okay. so he's yeah. maybe the shootout yeah. specialist, bring him on for the shootout. Something to think about for the coaching staff. But at the moment, 1-0 lead to Newtown. So, so five Kronk on the ball. Just under six to go in the first half. Throws it into Stanfield. Stanfield throws a great ball to the overlapping Cronk. Right half. Throws it infield to McEwen. Just gets a little bit away from him there. And Lukey Sieber is able to clean up for Newtown. Drops the ball back to Gleeson. Good intercept. Will Battle Cronk. the young guns there. Lukey Sieber yeah, and Will Sieber. Cronk. Both in our under-15 representative team that will be heading to Bundaberg next week. Oh, great ball square. Matty Wallace. Arcing out on the right-hand side. Just cuts it back in, looking for a Picks foot. Picks up the foot there. No, missed by umpire <coughs> Burke. Great work from Wallace. Cronk now. Options. Finds Williams straight. Williams slips over. The orange boots coming unstuck. Sniper there, mate. We might see a few more snipers out tonight in our A1 Men's Halftime Entertainment. We've Ooh. got our Senior Relay Race. Tell us about that. So two, four members from each uh, each club at halftime will be running a race. Um, $200 on the line for the for the winning club. Oh, nice. Um, great way to, to raise some, some money um, to get some kit for next year for the clubs. Yeah, absolutely. And that's donated by Just Hockey. As Pearson works a free hit outside the 25, Reedy takes off. Mm. Gets the ball into the D. Greggy Dean pounces. Gone out scramble there. Again. Great defence. Great defence from Newtown. Skips gone direct in the circle. Matty Wallace, Wallace. gets a touch. Clarky. Oh, the inspector. Ever so careful. Oh. Ross Vanderwerf gets a, a check on Henry Cronk. Gets him right in the foot. Well Adam read from Pearson, past yeah. high. Williams is away down the right hand side of the field, driving quickly to the T spot, throws it across. Clarky again, right place, right time. Good from Clark. Past Welcome high, BG. Ascendancy. BG online there. How's Sunny Cairns, mate? Let us know. It's almost like Cairns weather today here in Toowoomba. Brother Snodder scored the first goal. Welcome to everyone else listening in or viewing in. Give us your thoughts, give us a comment or a thumbs up or something. Trap that. <laughs> Tough, Tough one there for Lukey. Tough challenge there for Lukey Sieber. The inspector wasn't happy, put his head straight in his hand. Past high, just with a bit of ascendancy at the moment. Newtown are, are camped down here in their defensive 50 for the last few minutes. As we see a potential opportunity to counter-attack. Down the right-hand side of the field they go. Got some speed. Pearson and Markey. Pearson does well, drags Clean. it back. Well cleaned up. Turns it round. Just goes out though in front of Skip Hawthorne. So two and a half to go in the first half. 
Saber on the ball. Both teams have been good. Back to Clark. Inspector finds a bit of shade so we can see where he's going. Cronk travels. Has Wilkie coming down. Pops it forward. Good from Cronk. Very good. Finds Williams. Williams who... Physical challenge there. Both teams going hard at the, at the ball. 1-2 there from Greggy Dean and Williams. Just couldn't quite connect there. And they're forced short, short corner. corner. So short corner called from the top umpire. Helping out Dan Burke. So Jack Moore's <coughs> seen something there and, and communicated to his other umpire. So good umpiring. Bit of support there from Karen for, for pass tie. Well, let's go. 90 seconds to go here. Greggy Dean to inject. Double battery set up as per normal. Williams and Reedy. Sinton comes back for a runner. Very fast, Zach Sinton. Reggie Dean poises, gets the ball out. Right battery, Reedy stands and shoots. That's a goal. Everything happened there in slow motion. The first runner stopped. Not sure what Lego was doing there, but I think he was looking for a. And we now have an equalizer here, part time. Yeah, a bit of miscommunication potentially on the top of the circle. I think yeah. Will Reedy hesitated, but. The defence gave him time and he, and he put the chance away well past Lockie Zibiani in the net for Newtown. One so apiece. New, yeah, Newtown frantically trying to get the ball forward. Will Cronk, Cronk just watches it go over the sideline. Hits the corner post actually and just pops over the sideline. So 16 seconds to go. Bullen moves the corner post, which I don't think you're allowed to do, are you, Cookie? I actually don't know why they have corner posts anymore. Can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> so that's the first half done and dusted. The equaliser comes back just moments from half time. All set for a cracking second half. Yeah, looking forward to it. So, see you after this break. start to the game. I think we struggled at the start. Red Lions came out really hard. Um, I think after the first quarter we gained um, some composure but it was definitely a hard fought game. Yeah definitely after the start of the season we had I think realistically we were just happy to make the top four um, and we're really excited and proud of ourselves for making it this far. Yeah, definitely. I think, to be realistic, I think we were really um, struggling and I think that especially the young ones really stepped up midway through the season and yeah, we definitely um, have been working hard the last few weeks and the last couple of months and really excited to be um, in the big grand final on the weekend. Um, definitely, I think we had a few, few injuries at the start of the season. Um, we were lucky enough to get some of our Brisbane players to be able to come up and play through the season. But I definitely, I think our spine for us has um, held us together and hopefully we'll do the same on the weekend. Um, definitely, we know who the, their key players are. Um, definitely through their spine as well again. Um, and hopefully we can counteract them and Get, stick to our game plan and hopefully we can shut them down and get the win. Um, yeah, I'm excited that we made it. I don't think we really got the credit that we deserve um, from the season we had. Like, yes, we had injuries and we had a couple of off games, but I think we've really proven ourselves over the last few weeks and we definitely deserve to be there, so I'm really thrilled that we made it. Um, I'm so proud of them, especially the young ones. Like, we have a lot of rookies this year. It's their first year actually registered in A grade and they've really stepped up. They've really um, yeah, filled in for where we needed them in the midfield, especially, especially when 
we had a few rough games and yeah, I'm happy with them and how we were playing together. It was tough because it was just really on and off, like we couldn't really get on a roll, we were kind of, yeah, we had a full team and then the next month there was like four players out that we needed each week and um, it was just a really disjointed season and I think that um, got us a bit but we've like collected ourselves together now so we're back in, back in our good books for our club and for our coach. Oh, we just need to play good hockey, which is we're building up to a really good game. I feel like this weekend is going to be one of our best games, especially against Pass High. We always seem to play well against them because they're also a very strong team. Um, so we'll keep our composure, stay strong and trust each other. Oh, look, they have got a very strong midfield um, and their backs as well are quite strong as well. So going wide or over is going to be our plan of attack. Very exciting. Always exciting to play in a grand final. You don't get many, if any. Um, overall, it's a fairly comfortable game. Yeah. Um, basically, I, I don't think we need to change anything. Um, we play quite a good structure. Um, if we keep the momentum and the movement going as we always do all year, um, I don't think we need to do anything other than execute our game to the best of our ability and um, just reduce errors. So we want to increase our positive outcomes all over the field. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, we're lucky to have strength all over the field. Um, it's really good when we do go down the edges, um, but then you've got someone of Erin uh, McKellie's calibre down the centre and she's just amazing to watch when she just carves up down the middle. So it's one or the other. <laughs> um, oh, absolutely, yeah, but um, we've got Jamie behind us and she has played an awesome uh, yeah, she's very fast and she's a very good tackler, so they'll be hard pressed to get past her. Uh, pretty good. I think it just rolled off the back of last year. We really um, worked well on our game plan um, and it's just kind of come together again. So um, always, always proud, absolutely. Sweet. Oh, I think every grand final is an exciting, exciting day, so I'll be really, really pumped up and uh, looking forward to it. I think. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half action here in the A2 men's final, played between Newtown Hockey Club and Past High Hockey Club. One goal apiece. It's a pretty tight contest, Steve. Yeah, looking forward to the second half now as Scotty Garski gets us under away, underway back to Wilkie. Garski again. Under some heavy pressure from the young Past High tribe. Oh, three hits gone the other way there, Scotty Garski. So yeah, as we enter this second half in a bit of an arm wrestle, uh, what are your thoughts, mate, from what you've seen on both sides and who do you think might break this game open? Yeah, it was really interesting. I um, only caught the, the last bit of the second quarter, had some prior commitments, but... It, it, we it, are the busy, busiest man at Toowoomba, aren't <laughs> It was a really interesting start. I think, you know, Newtown were under the pump for long periods, but I think the longer this game goes, um, they've, they've got some, some big game experience out there. A lot of these guys have been part of their successful A1 dynasty over the last probably 10 years. So the longer this game goes, it'll be interesting to see the, the old heads of Newtown know how to win finals versus the, the fresh legs or the young guns of past time. They've definitely got some quality out there. Sammy Bullen on the ball now, a junior state representative. That's a Riley Williams, a junior representative player. And a state hurdler actually He's so quick, yeah. extremely fit and fast rolls just gets away from him there <coughs> so it'd be really interesting to see how this one plays out and then the ex mountains of experience from the likes of Gla uh, Clarkie for Newtown mm. Gleason Garski so yeah mm -hmm. Wilkie yeah absolutely played Australian country so real quality game Reedine Dean on the ball, good strength. Dishes it off left. Oh, just a bit of a... Bit of miscommunication there. Great oh, read, good defence. Good from Gleeson. Still quality. Yeah, Greggy Dean ghosted out to that T spot and was free. Ball couldn't quite 
find him as Stanfield takes it quickly. Throws it to Dean. Just can't quite control it there for pass tie. Good play there, though. I like what they're doing. They're not going direct. So trying to go around the around the defence. Inspector gets the ball back to Jago. Jago to Ziviani. Ziviani just picked there by McEwen. Oh, Kronk, that is. Play on. Wilkie. <coughs> Wilkie's been busy. Gets the ball to Ziviani. Punches it down the yeah. line to no one, unfortunately, for, for Newtown. Just went right over the sideline, right near the T in Toowoomba Hockey there, Cookie. Teams, the Toowoomba Hockey is nearly covered by some of the club's banners. It's great to see so many people out here. Yeah, big crowd in. Grand finals on both fields. Cold beer, hot meals. What else do you want? Jukebox as well tonight. Yeah, tonight. Reedy, dog legs. Puts it back. Greggy Dean, race to the corner. Everyone's As stopped there. Greggy's kept going. Jago on his in. tail. Jago rushes the tackle. Greggy Dean, good enough. Now he rushes Jago. Wins a free hit just outside. Takes off early, Greggy Dean. Sitting, diffuses. Greggy Dean's been good up front. You're always dangerous, Greggy. Taking a free hit oh, right in front of Sinton. the Tiger Army. Strong tackle from Sinton. Uses all of his body. Knocks Dylan Reedy over and gives away a short corner. Umpire Jack Moore not having any of that. Short corner and a card. Green card given out Green as card. well. Green card. That's number two for Sinton. Got to yeah. be careful. Just came in with a full head of steam. and uh... To his defence, though, he's a very fast runner and he did have the wheels turning, so hard to pull up. Right in front of the Tiger Army down there in that pocket, so probably would have been encouraged by a few well-hydrated <laughs> men to have a crack. I'd say so. First time in 15 years that their A-grade team isn't running out tonight, so... A few of those boys about having yeah, a good afternoon. Absolutely. Ball injected here. Reedy with the hit again. Great save. Oh, oh, up over the top. The inspector saves it. But short corner again. Oh, Deemed to go up money, into a I dangerous... thought that was over the top, yeah. but uh, yeah, it looked like it could have been looping in. Great save on the line. So same setup, Greggy Dean to inject. I'd like to see one to go straight back to Greggy Dean for a sweep goal. Whoops. Miss trap. Riley Williams will pick it up. Still got numbers forward if they can. Will Reedy on the ball. Finds Hawthorne one time. Into the attacker's feet this time. Ooh. No complaints from Griggy Dean. Taken early here from Clarky. Just a touch finder. Inside out. Rocket off the stick. Unfortunately, weren't able to find an attacker <laughs> high. <laughs> Tells Pollock that's where he should have been. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy Bullen to get us back underway. Bullen. Looking into the midfield to Stanfield. To Reedy. Dylan Reedy. Reedy uses Marky's stick to get the ball back to stand. Garski with a bit of, bit of hip there. <laughs> Skippo wins the ball, pops out the other side. Works towards Jago. Turns the ball over. Oh, Greggy Dean's got to be careful. Yeah, a few boys are firing up here. A lot of plenty on the line here yeah. for both clubs. So one all, third quarter. Stay with us. It's going to be a good finish. Garski just gets away from him. Straight into the legs of Garski from Bullen. Wins the free hit. Crossfield bomb there. Hawthorne, a little cheeky trip. Flick over the top. Pulled up. Garski and Reedy having words. Motion starting to get involved. Inspector will just keep doing his job though. Ashley Viani here on the ball for Newtown. Back to Hayden Jago. Greggy Dean running a good arc. Picks up a little touch. Puts Jago on the back foot. Jago goes square to Clark. Plenty Greggy of Dean again. Greggy Dean. Great yards, Greggy Dean. 
He's Turnover. Fine. He's free if they can get it to him. Wallace needs to get the eyes up. Eyes up. Yeah, Turns good defense. the ball back in. Reedy in a dangerous position here. Gets away quickly. <laughs> Takes it quickly. Oh, Jago. Jago. Good tackle, says umpire Jack Mork. Yeah, well, he was right on the spot. Gleeson. Touch from Bullen. Dylan Gascoigne tearing after. It's going to be a new town ball. A couple of comments there from the viewers. Go Skippo, Bird and Sammy. And Gloria. Wilkie strong. Pearson very well placed though. Great defence, Pearson. Dino pops the ball. Gets well away from, from him Jago. though. Well read Jago. Jago's had a great season right from the Club Glenvale Challenge at the start of the year, Hayden Jago. Opportunity here. Riley Williams in a one-on-one -on -one against Clark. 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 Too good. Wins the three hits. Off the stick of Riley. Over the back line, so the inspector wins that one. Looks straight to the help side, gets it across to Ziviani. Ziviani, just that inside out punch down the, the ground straight. Just misses the goal. Could have been a two-pointer. Make sure you leave the uh, leave a comment down below, guys. Great to see plenty coming in. Greggy Dean, early viewing of the under-11s game, has him fired up from Karen. Yeah, definitely was one of the uh, the tightest games of the day so far, yeah. the under-11 boys. As you said, mate, I was actually out here for that game as well this morning, so really good to see. Sammy Bullen goes up and over. Nice ball into space. Keneally. Keneally under pressure from McEwen. Wins the hit. McEwen, Williams, Wallace. Three young guns from past eye set up in the press. They decide to go around. Clark to Siva. Another one of our young superstars, Lukey Siva. Turns Lockie Cronk inside out. Gets the ball back across to the help side. Keneally under the pump from Williams. A lot of speed on Williams. Turns him back around to Wilkie. Wilkie punches it forward. Great ball. Little mousetrap there by Skippo. So throws Sinton off the scent. Stewie Edwards with a bit of support for Newtown. Newtown! <laughs> Sammy Bullen here to get us underway. Right over in the pocket. Glassy, one. Glassy wants Greggy Dean out of second gear. Good call. Bird here, throws it into the midfield to Stanfield. Oh, tough challenge there from McEw for McEwen. Stanfield tough. G'day Terry Stanfield, Dean's still on the field at the moment, which is good to see. Down the line. Pearson well read, gets the ball away, picks up a foot, again, wins a hit. Late ball, late hit away there from Wilkie, was the inquiry. No one's coming straight. A well weighted hit down the line. Cronk just taps it into his own foot. Perfect ball from Pearson. Again, Clark uses that help side. Hard for Jago. Sun right in his face. Great Cronk interception intercept. from Bird. Driving forward, beats one. Cuts into the pocket. Forces an obstruction. Gets his good mate, Lukey Siva. Throws it in. Oh, Wilkie attacks the ball. Wins the, wins the ball. Pops out to Siva. Goes high. Siva slams it down the field. Opportunity here. Oh, oh, just Marky. couldn't quite control it there. Would have been a one on one with the keeper. Sammy Bullen here transfers the ball out to this right hand side to Henry Cronk. Goes hard down the line. Cronk goes straight. No connection though. So five and a half to go in the third. Again, Newtown used the help side. We seem to be going around in a bit of a square here. Great ball from Clark. Puts it through. Here's an opportunity for Newtown. Pearson. Pearson with work to do. Keepers right out. Good defence. 
Already hit just outside the circle. Dylan Gascoigne steps off it. Lukey Seba now on the ball. No. Umpires just want to take it yeah, back, get on the right Denver spot. Just holding things up. Wilkie in space. Good tackle though, Williams. Play on. Play on's the call. Well, free hit past high. Newtown bench don't like it. Bourne, cross field overhead. Greggy Dean here on the right hand side. Throws it hard down the line. Must trap. He's missed it. Opportunity for Riley. Oh, He's missed it as well. Both missed it. That's just. Probably just a little bit of difference there between here and the top level. They really need to be making those traps. Good to see some comments coming from BG up in Cairns. Loving the live streaming. G'day BG. Be good to see you back on the field soon BG. Whether it's down for an odd game with Newtown or whether it's for the Stingers boys up in Cairns. Seba, second generation Seba coming through. Wilkie. Gets the ball to Wilkie. Pressured by Greggy Dean. Physical oh. challenge. Good strong tackling there. Well done by the umpires. I don't think he deserved anything. Just two boys going hard at the ball. Jay go now on the ball for Newtown. It's back to Clark. Greggy Dean pressing hard again. Riley Williams, good defence. And well read from Sammy Bullen. Just pops it through, Bullen cuts inside. One. Back to McEwen. McEwen finds Wallace. Wallace, back to the trap. Space if he can get his eyes Needs up. Needs to get the eyes up. Throw the ball, lad. Throw the ball, lad. <laughs> oh. Just probably <laughs> held on to it for a little Wallace bit too long. Wallace throwing there. his weight around too. Hawthorne on the ball. To Reedy, this is danger here for Newtown. We'll throw it into the circle. Opportunity, Greggy, Greggy Dean. Dean. Just Ooh. couldn't quite control it. Yeah, I think Matty Wallace just needs to get those eyes up and throw that ball early there. Yeah, had plenty of space to counter-attack to. As we said, as the game goes on longer, the fresh legs, or the youthful legs, of some of the, uh, the past high strikers will definitely be uh, an interesting matchup. Yeah particularly against the inspector. It's a hot day today. Yeah, yeah, I'm youthful, I'm sure you're talking about Greggy Dean. He's been he's been all <laughs> over the place, Greg. He doesn't stop. Wallace. Wallace is good. Skippo. It's a great ball through. No one's home. The inspector takes the 16. Opts to go forwards. Opportunity Drake for turnover. Can get it left. Greggy Dean's unmarked in the circle still. Couldn't find him. Gleason mopping up. <laughs> Gleason with eyes up. Unusual from Gleason, yeah. but effective. Under two minutes to go here. <laughs> Greggy, Greggy, Greggy the, running the body continual part. battle there with Lego. Been good to watch actually. Two experienced campaigners yeah. having a crack. Lukey Sieber now on the right hand side, picks the ball up, gets his eyes up, slaps on the 45 but well read. Oh, great tackle there Lego, My, had to make it, has Greggy Dean again in front of him. Free hit just outside. Plays everywhere, oh, I don't think he's five. Corner. Wallace wasn't five. Yeah, fell into the trap, no. That's that big game experience there from the key players. Yeah, good work from Newtown. Opportunity really, here for Newtown. Really sucked the player in. So under a minute to go here in the third quarter. Huge opportunity here. Gas going to inject. Garski on the trap. No, Garski on the right, sorry. Yeah, no, so, no trapper. So, yeah, opting for no trapper. And with the trouble that the A grade men seem to have, they. Good and thinking. we have an equaliser on field two. Garski shoots. Hearing a bit of commotion there in the background. Keep the rod on the deck. 
There's been a goal up on field two for those interested. Northern yeah. Suburbs equalised. One goal apiece in the A3 Women's Final against Red Lions. And that'll just about do it for, for time here in the third quarter. So as soon as this corner breaks down, we'll go into a break. Newtown with one last opportunity here to take the lead. BG's a fan of the Inspector by the sounds of it. <laughs> one of the greats, the Inspector. This time they've, got, they've gone from no stick trappers to two stick trappers here, Newtown. A little bit of a miscommunication. Fired right into the circle and another, another short corner. Didn't quite see, but it just looked like that ball didn't quite come out of the circle. Garski's uh, requesting Nathan, oh, Chris Glass, sorry, to, uh, to have a few flicks later on tonight. It'll be interesting to see if he does flick. Hasn't flicked a great deal this year. No, and he had a perfect opportunity in the semi the other day, but just rolled back to the halfway line. Gooderham's been going fairly well this year. Here we go, Wilkie. Skip's got out quick, and he's oh, punched it out of there. Good defence there from the past eye boys. So as we go into the third, only one minute here, guys. Break. One all. Back soon. Back soon. Just a minute, Jeff. And we're back here for the uh, the last quarter. Plenty of noise in the crowd. Plenty of uh, passion out on the field. As the shadows get long and the, the sun's in a very particularly bad position for certain parts of the field, sitting. Opportunity here for Newtown. Into the D, has a shot. Great Keepers save on the from ground. the keeper. And it's off the foot. So the initial shot just clipped the foot and looped into the keeper. So no advantage from the umpire. So Newtown straight away inside seconds have got another short corner. In this, at the start of the fourth quarter. Big Ash Diviani on there, maybe for a flick. No? no? I think I just heard his coach say, Ash, get out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Again, no stick trap here. Come back to the old school setup. And we might see Snodagarski get onto his back stick again and. Give us an upright backy. Ball injected Sitting to the top. To Lego. Laid Lego up to the left. left. Great save. Pearson on the deck. Doesn't quite clear the ball out. Well done for pass tie. Good defence. Very solid. Bullen goes up and over. Down to this right hand side. A little right mousetrap there from Reedy. Mousetrap on the overhead. Kronk does well, gets the ball across. Well shadowed by Hollis. Reedy on the ball. Momentum slowly shifted now. Oh, crunching tackle there from Jago. <laughs> ball and all. Long corner, back to Kronk. Kronk needs people to present. Oh, it's a soft pass, he'd like that again. Got away with it, fortunately, for pass tie. Man to worst, gets it over the sideline. Into There's Stanfield. That. Yep, Lego, hot on his heels. Oh, a one-handed upright. Yeah, wonderful Backstick, tackle. tackle. Garski's not offering a great deal Sitton, getting forward, but Sitton, Sitton certainly is. Costa gets flying out, that's touched oh. his body, he's in trouble here. That's a goal, Sitton scores. That's a goal. No, nothing any, for the goal keeper. Any ramifications keeper. on the I, keeper? I thought the keeper might be in strife, mm. but I thought it could have been a card. And we have a goal from Newtown. Zach Simpson. 
For Newtown and complaining, they've just scored, taking the lead, two goals to one. Reedy gets us underway quickly. Beats one, beats two. Eliminates Garski, gets the ball back to Stanfield. Stanfield steadies. Looks for an overlapping Kronk. Oh, Garski gets the ball over and hit his foot. Garski's in a hand little sit down. Has had a direct comment back to the, to the umpire, but off he goes. So it's not a Garski. Very, very heavy contest there between two players. Yeah, nothing in it though. Just both players going for the ball. It was a 50 50. Time is off in the uh, corner. So Dean Stanfield's taking a head injury there. Walking off though under his own steam, which is good to see. So, because the manager's gone onto the field, he has to come off for a minimum of two minutes. Let's get him assessed. Hopefully nothing too severe there. McEwen on. So, Reedy on the ball. Has Pearson. Pearson goes direct. Picks up Riley. He pops the ball back out. Half attempt of a tackle there from Hawthorne. Back tackles now. Wins the ball back. Great skills from Skippo. Just need to get rid of it. Strong tackle, Gleason flips Skippo over. We've got another green card now. Riley Williams for something. Yeah, so not, had an not sure. with Ash Viviani before. Ash is now okay. both of them gone. Just off the ball. Oh, both just a gone. Bit of push yep. and shove. I think Ash is a bit of a gentle giant, so a little bit oh. unlucky for him. Greggy Dean, the ball flashed past him, couldn't get on the end of it. So we've got nine on the field for Newtown and ten on the field for past time. <laughs> Heath Edwards, a uh, ass nodder. <laughs> G'day, Heater. Good to hear from you, mate. Wish you were still playing. The inspector slides it across to Markey. Markey, good ball to Sinton, the goal scorer. He's a what? Sinton, oh. chip and chase. Pulled up by the umpire. He's chipped Wrong it goal. With his foot. Wrong team. Wrong game. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Bullen on the ball. Oh, and a goal up on field two. Northern Ooh. Suburbs has taken the lead against Red Lions. Reedy in traffic, wins a free hit. Probably like that again. Just a speculative overhead there. Didn't, doesn't come off. Great experience here from, uh, from Newtown. They oh, little touches. Just slowed the game down. Mouse trap. Gleese comes to Pearson. Pearson does well. Gets the ball over the back line. Long corner. Wallace back into the game. Snodder's back off, off the bench. So much to the disgust of Heater, no doubt. <laughs> Straight back off the bench. Wants a touch here. Back on the ball. Greggy Dean steaming in. <laughs> yeah, rushes Snodder a bit there. So sitting. Chips of crop couple, air swing over the top. Pass tie run out of legs, I think. There's not a lot of movement up front. Not a lot of options there for Will Reddy. Has to hold it up. Find Skippo on the ball. Looks for a one-two with McEwen, but McEwen goes himself. McEwen, Beats one. Round Good the inspector. Speed. Good from Gleese, so. Yeah, too quick from Gleason. That bloke just does not age, Jared Gleason's been very good for 20 plus years. It's a bit like Benji Marshall. So one one of the uh, green cards is back on the field and the other one's been subbed off. So Lukey Sieber's on now for Ash Siviani. Two, two goals to one here. Very, very tight contest. Past high now. On the front foot, Newtown defending with everyone in their defensive 25. Sun in a tough position there now for everyone who's got to look that way. Umpires included. Desperate from both teams. Balls into the circle. 16. Well positioned from the umpire. So just under 11 to go. Simo Simpson, welcome mate. Good to see you, see you watching. Simo been an old Toowoomba stalwart for many years, living the life down on the coast. So welcome mate. Zach Goodaham having a look before his uh, big game tonight. Yeah, Zach, we expect a few drag flicks from you tonight, my friend. Greg Dean starting to the Oh, the inspector swipes the and inspector. misses the ball, so... 
The inspector working hard there, just goes over the top of it. Matty Wallace in the right spot there, wins a the short corner. So past high opportunity here to go one up. Peter Harris, good to hear from you, mate. Rushy, welcome. So Greggy Dean to inject. Hawthorne and Reedy on the left battery. Cronk and Williams on the right battery. Bullen and Wallace. Goes to Hawthorne, just a slight miss trap. Cronk opts to go in to Williams. Well cleared Defused. though. Defused. Jack McEwen picks it up from past tie, throws it down to the pocket. Will Reedy will just keep it in play. Still got numbers forward if he can find them. Beats one, beats two. Good skills from Reedy. The inspector, inspector does well. Oh, ball went to Skippo. Hawthorne, he ran over the top of it. Eyes lit up. Reedy, Reedy. takes it quickly. Good skills. He's got a right half open if he can, but he offers to go to rest. Yeah, Newtown, Newtown deflection there. So over the top, long corner. Well, Reedy takes it quickly again. Ops to go directly in. Williams. The oh, inspector. the inspector defused. Got right on Clarky. Lego now. Pops a bomb out. Up and, up, up and over they go. Great ball from Wilkie. Relief, relieve a little bit of pressure. Right oh. onto the corner flag. <laughs> Perfect touch finder. That's a dead set 40 20. Pearson quickly brings the ball out. Screams from the coach from Newtown. Wants the, wants the ball blocked in. Gleason polishes the ball, slows things down. Happy to take a few precious seconds off the clock. A little bit early for that, for my liking. Lukey Siever pops the ball through, picked up by Skippo. Skippo on the deck, slips Great over. Tackle. Good tackle, Siever, his little mate. Great run from Siever as well. Yeah, good from Lukey Siever. Going to star in the under-15 side next week and hopefully... Hopefully make a, a state squad spot. So yeah, the young fella still just turned 14 this year. But um, oh, just ball knocked away after the whistle there and upgraded to a short corner. And a yellow card. So a huge opportunity here for Newtown. Currently leading two goals to one. A third goal probably here might open up a bit of breathing space. Peter Harris asking him to put it away. No stick trap again. Strong inject. Lego slides it too far right. Marky overruns it. Seven to go. Huge crowd in tonight. Car parks overflowing onto Boundary Street here at Toowoomba. It's great to see so many people here. If you're watching from home, come out tonight and check check out some fantastic hockey. Both A1 games promises to be an absolute thriller. Will Reedy on the ball now. Ops to go directly into the circle. Opportunity here, Riley Williams turns out. Yeah, turns it in. Off the stick, says umpire Must Jack be off Moore. the stick there. Good Got down defense nice from low. Yeah, well positioned. Great experience there from, from Lego. And a wonderful tackle there from young Lukey Sieber. Dylan Gascoigne back to Sieber. Into Lego. Well intercepted Turn though. over there from Lego. Rare mistake. Greggy Dean. Players are just absolutely out on their feet here. Will Reedy's gone down with a cramp in the midfield, struggling to move. As yeah. we said, some of the youngsters here backing up after the Jays final, really struggling. Had a huge game today in the Jay boys. Uh, win, Will Reedy. Williams, 
on the hunt. Jago's Jago under pressure. Was good. good enough to find Steve. Steve tough with the sun in his eyes. Just gets a touch from Bullen over the sideline. New 10 ball. Hard for the crowd on that far side to see now. Lots of eyes up, hands up to the eyes. Gascoigne does enough. Gascoigne driving down the right. Ball into the circle. Play on, says the umpire. Opportunity. Couple of chops there. Yeah. That's a short corner. Three stick checks. So five to go. So a three quarter time on field two. Dylan Gascoigne here to inject the penalty corner. Gleason on the top, along with Wilkie, Garski, Lukey Sieber to back up. As we said here, a goal would be crucial here for Newtown to give them a bit of breathing space. Pass to I need to hang on. I think Dean Stanfield's just broken then. So now pass will be forced to defend this penalty corner with only a goalkeeper and three defenders. Plenty of space at the top here for some variations if Newtown opt to go that way. They've gone the stick trapper. Yeah, Garski down on the stick trap, Wilkie to hit. Good save, Good save well clear. Interesting, they, uh, back stick clear. with only three defenders, they went the stick trapper in the direct hit there. Mm. Would have thought there would have been lots of space for a variation. Down the right-hand side of the field they go, through Gascoigne, just loses yeah. control. Pass tie, have three and a half minutes to get a goal back. Certainly not, not unachievable. Bullen goes to cross field overhead. Hayden Jago gets a touch and that'll go out of bounds. Will Reedy will look to take it quickly. Three minutes. Pops it down the line to Matty Wallace. Picks it up in the pocket. Good strong tackle, Lukey Sieber. tackle from Lukey Sieber. Shiviani rolls off here for the inspector. To take. Looks to go with the uh, the hit. Straight to Jack McEwen though from past tie. Just couldn't quite control it. Certainly was travelling. Clarky picks up Snodder in the midfield. Snodder. Oh, collision there, bro. Friendly two. fire. Two of the young fellas. Opportunity here for Newtown. Oh. And we have an equal line. And up on field two, Red Lions have pegged back. So two goals apiece now in the A3 women's final up on field two. Newtown just. Looking to slow down here, take a few seconds off the clock. Inspector will wander over. Wander over. <laughs> Check his Ex shoelaces. Experienced campaigner there, yeah. Make sure his socks are pulled up. Don't want to rush, probably have Smoko first. <laughs> Tuck his shirt in. And that's why they've been so good, this experience. Dean Stanfield. Over the top they go. Sammy Bullen will bring it down though. Lukey Sieber's done well. Opportunity if they can get the ball forward here. Just slowing it down. Cuts inside. Good tackle Bullen. He's giving it his all. Sitton gets it back. That's a short corner, and that'll just about do it for Newtown. We just a bit of experience there, got him through in that last quarter. 
They'll take their time. So a great effort from both teams. What was a wonderful, wonderfully entertaining final. Newtown will be looking to put the icing on the cake here with a short corner right on full time. And a free hit to the defence, but... Uh, and we have a final result. Doesn't really matter in the end as uh, Newtown take that one two goals to one. So yeah, great effort by both sides. Great game, well umpired. So yeah, nice, nice finish in the end there for the Newtown boys who just have a, a knack of winning. They've been uh, doing that for a long time and yeah, great finish to the to the A2 men's grand final. So and as we see down now, the uh, A grade ladies are wandering out onto the field. So we'll be back very soon with the A-grade women's grand final with Past High versus Rangeville. See you soon. See ya.